Hey readers, we've been thinking a lot about Will from our share text popularity. Not only have we been thinking about how he has more than one trait and growing ideas about the kind of person that he is or is not, we've also been thinking about some important stuff that has to do with fiction books and reading fiction texts for life. We've been thinking about how whenever we read fiction texts, we as readers need to expect that the characters will be more than one way. And this is because characters are complicated. This is true whenever we are reading popularity, and it's also true in books like your independent reading books and your book club books. Why? Because you and I are complicated. We're not just one way. Think about it. We might be different in school than how we act when we're at home with our family members. We might act differently with one person, like a teacher, versus a parent or a sibling. We might be different on Tuesday and another way on Wednesday. We're complicated people. We're real people. And we're reading realistic fiction. So no wonder why our characters are kind of tricky to figure out. But that's why our work now is so important. So today, I want to teach you that characters in complicated stories reveal themselves over time. Experienced readers like you are alert to new details and are ready to rethink and revise their first ideas in the face of new or different evidence. I'm going to show you how I do this using our shared text popularity. So watch on my screen to see what I do, because pretty soon you'll be doing the same thing in your book club book. So right now I'm going back to my Google Keeps. You might go back to your Google Keeps, or you might go back to the post-its you've been keeping in your book, or maybe your shared book club discussion space. Wherever you go, you want to be looking back at the book club book you've been reading or your most recent independent book you've been doing the most thinking about. So I'm looking at some of my Google Keeps and I'm thinking way back to one of the first big ideas I had about Will. So I'm looking here at this one. And I'm thinking about traits. I'm going to stick with that since all of us, I think, today can really consider the kind of characters that we are studying in our books. Maybe you're thinking about today a major character or a minor character. Maybe you're going to be thinking about traits or theories. Whatever you do, you can follow these same steps. Okay, so I'm reminding myself first of what I first thought about Will. This is, these are just a few things. So I thought that he's kind of a bitter person. Um, so he's like kind of acts rude and unhappy. He has like a bad kind of energy about him. And he's also a bit sarcastic. He makes fun of people in a mean way. I also added on to this thought. I thought, well, maybe he's sarcastic because he's sort of jealous of the other characters. So now what I want to do is I want to see if I can, step one, ground my thinking in the text, just like how you did the other day. So I'm going to go back to a place where I know I can find some details. Let's go to the beginning. I feel like that's where I got this idea in the first place. Let me go back and just scan. Okay. All right. I'm going to read this aloud and you think along with me. Does this show bitterness, sarcasm? Aside from being a little more than our share, than our share of baby fat, the two Allens and I had very little in common. In fact, we could barely stand one another. So that's just like kind of a strange thing to say, isn't it? And it's so like honest about how he just like doesn't actually get along with his friends. Still, during recess, we were the only company we had, so we tried to make the best of it. I hear that sarcasm, like, he's, like, kind of, like, making fun of their situation, but it's, like, kind of in a mean-spirited way. He doesn't like the Allens, doesn't care for them. So we tried to make the best of it. Now and then, one of us would bend forward, pick a clover, examine it, shake his head, and let it fall to the ground. And we have that conversation, and he says... We had been looking for four leaf clovers every school day for six months. Okay, so right now I feel like I have some stuff that really supports my thinking about his bitterness and sarcasm. So I'm going to do that fancy thing 
where I open up my jot and make it into a Google Doc so I can kind of expand on this. So just a refresher, I press those three dots, I went down to copy to Google Docs, and I press open doc. Okay, here's my jot. Now I want to really set myself up to compare and contrast my thinking because I told you before, I'm going to be looking at different kinds of evidence. So let's see. At first I'm thinking about his bitterness, his sarcasm, bitter, sarcastic. And then what shows it? Um, well, we just read, we read that part from the beginning um, where he is talking about how he doesn't actually get along with the Allens, doesn't actually like his friends, makes fun of what they do, clovers. He also talks about how they've been doing it forever. So it like, gives us the sense that he's just like so sick of it. Like he really doesn't like it. He's unhappy with it. And he'd just rather be doing something else with other people. He talks about how doing this for six months. And that sounds kind of ridiculous, doesn't it? So it's like you hear the little bit of humor, but you know it's kind of mean spirited. So it kind of feels a little bit icky. Okay, so now I want to see if I can support this in other parts of the text. I might even like color code this, or maybe I will. Um, make a timeline if I want to. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do actually? I'm going to turn this into a chart, like a little T chart. If you know how to do that, awesome. If not, you can draw it, you can sketch it, or you can make your own version. I'm going to insert a table. Okay. So this is the beginning of the story. I've only really read up to the middle, but the middle I can definitely look at next. Do you see how I'm plopping this into a chart? Maybe you don't know how to do this. That's okay. Maybe you just make your own columns. But the reason for this is because I want to be thinking about this idea across the story. So I'm just kind of setting myself up to do that so I can kind of compare and contrast my details. So now I want to go to the middle and I want to just see if I can still prove this bitter, sarcastic. So where can I find some examples? All right, I'm going to just scan. He talks about Sean Owens. That doesn't really show much about the bitterness. Hmm. Probably, it probably will be another part where he's talking about himself again and like his social status again. How about that part where he talks about, yeah, like himself in relation to all the, the popular guys? How about this part? Listen to this. What do you think? I wonder what my position in the group might be. I certainly wasn't a great athlete student or ladies man, but I did have a sense of humor. Wait a second. Doesn't this sound different than it did before he did before? Before he was so down about about himself and his friends. Now he's like kind of boosting himself up. I'm going to write that down because I think that this is actually super different. So I'm going to come back to the bitter sarcastic thing. I'm not quite sure if I'm totally still on board with that idea, but the details I'm gathering kind of show um, that he is talking himself up, like sense of humor. Let's see, what else does he say about himself? Maybe I could be the second funniest boy in the fourth grade. That does not sound like the, the guy before, doesn't it? It doesn't sound like Will at all, because Will was talking so poorly about himself and his friends. Now he's like, maybe I could actually be the second funniest kid in the school. Super different. Um, talking himself up, thinking, thinking he could be the second funniest kid in his grade. Anything else that feels significant from this part before I like have to probably stop and revise my thinking? To sleep. Let me see. But that night, just before I fell asleep. I saw myself standing in the center of the popular boys telling the funniest stories anyone had ever heard. I saw Sean Owens doubled with laughter. I saw myself triumphant. That sounds so different than what I was thinking before. I don't think I can totally go along with bitter sarcastic anymore. So I think I have to rethink that. 
you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work backwards. I'm going to look at the details first, and then I'm going to see what else I could come up with. Okay, so the other thing he says was, like, triumphant. So he's thinking about, like, as he imagines himself among the popular boys. Okay, let me just reread these examples that I found in the text in this section and then think, well, what does the middle part show about this character? So he talks himself up, he has a sense of humor, he thinks he could be the second funniest kid in the grade, and that he feels triumphant in his dreams and he's imagining himself alongside the popular boys. To me, that sounds hopeful, doesn't it? Optimistic, let me make this a new color, hopeful, optimistic. Do you see how this is now super different than my original thinking, bitter, sarcastic? My ideas are changing. I'm revising my theory about the character as I read on or reread. So I hope what you're seeing here is that if you take the time to really think about your big idea about a character, your theory, the traits that you come up with initially, and then push yourself to look at different parts of the story, your thinking might totally change. So what I wanna remind you today and every day that you read on your own or in your book club is that when you want to really think deeply about characters, you need to do two giant things. You wanna expect that characters are gonna be complicated, just like how we know that you and I are complicated and Will is complicated. And then the second big thing is that you need to be willing to revise your thinking in the face of either new evidence or as you reread across the story. So today, what you need to do is you need to make a decision you decide what you're going to be working on in your book club or independently. So here's what I'd like you to think about first. Choose. What's an idea that you have about your character? Maybe you're thinking about theories in your book club or independently. Maybe you're thinking about traits. Pick one thing right now. Am I going to focus on a trait or a few traits I've been noticing about my character? Or am I going to think about a theory about my character? So choose right now, theory, trait. Now, either look at your old jots, like how I did, or write something down. Maybe you remember your theory off the top of your head. Maybe you remember your initial jots about the, the character trait. If you wanna review old jots, or jot your idea. You want to have something to go into your rereading work with. Okay, when you have it, the next thing you do is you set yourself up for some big work on your own. So now what you do is I, as you go off, I want you to think about how you might either read on your evidence or reread. If you've already finished your book, you might need to reread across the text. So beginning, middle, end. If you are still in your book, maybe you're reading on across the story. So right now, Think about it. What will you be doing? Am I thinking about my traits? Am I thinking about traits? Am I thinking about a theory? And then what will you do? Will you read on or will you reread? Once you know, start immediately. Your job today is to get some really juicy information thinking work down to bring to your book club. We'll have a long time to talk in book clubs. So get started and soon you'll be talking with your book club. Good luck. I can't wait to see the ideas that you come up with.